Right, we're here at the Thames and Cosmos stand, and I'm here with Emma, and she's going to tell us all about these little tanks here that look really, really interesting. So, in these tanks we have triops, they're a prehistoric crustacean, so they've been around since the age of the dinosaurs. Wow. And the way that they've survived is that their eggs can lay dormant for over 20 years, dry, right. and then they wait for the right conditions, so the right temperature, the right amount of water, and the eggs hatch really, really quickly. They live for around three months, and in that time they lay more eggs. Right. Um, and yeah, they just swim around, have a great time, they don't need a partner to mate. So there can be one left. They eat each other when they're small. Oh, that's nice. So, well, it means that the biggest one survives. They all the they all get on then. Yeah, yeah they're all great pals. All right, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but there's one one right down here in the corner, in there, and they can actually survive in these little tanks then. Yes. Right. Um, and so one of our new kits this year is Sea Dogs Extreme. So it's learning about how these creatures can survive in extremely salty water oh, okay so at the moment they're just in uh, distilled water so it's quite pure right um, but yeah there's another species that can survive in a very very salty conditions so you, and know. you can find them all over the world they've got some in Scotland right and there's um, some in the new forest as well that can be found so this is a European species and then there's a North American species this is the European species which is larger right um, and these will grow to maybe sort of this size okay um, so yeah, these are still quite young. These are only less than a month old. Still quite young. However, they've been around since the time of the dinosaur. Mm. <laughs> Exciting cool. stuff. Um, and where they've got an exoskeleton, they shed their, as they grow, they shed their, like, as if a tarantula or a snake shed their skins right. to grow and get bigger, which sometimes you can see floating around. So this guy here is having a great time buzzing around. A little, a little extra that you can have in your bedroom one of these crustaceans that's uh, it's not gonna like, bite you. Try not gonna bite you. you. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna eat you. It's just gonna shed its skin and swim around for a while. Yeah, they're pretty cool. How on earth did you find out about these? Uh, well, our managing director is into all sorts of things, weird and bizarre. Right. Um, and this was a kit that already existed in Germany. We're owned by our German manufacturers. Right. And so yeah, we've taken it and turned it into something pretty cool. We think. Oh. Okay, so watch out for these little things swimming around in a bedroom near you. Ha, ha, ha.